is to build a great place for SS. We've got sort of two things we're trying to do. One, actually, there's a great many church in the I think that would be We once said that we shape our buildings and then they shape us. So we're trying to accomplish two things. We're trying to build this great place for SS that we can be proud of. That's very okay? And then also, we want people to learn to love this place, to make this place their own, to find new meaning in the place that we need to be talking about. I want to remind everyone that we also, many of you, did the same process in town plan for the Essex Town Center and the next plan. What we're doing here is we together are building this great place. And one of the things that my family does if you've heard of this before, there's this thing called the 251 Club. Probably some of you have heard of it, probably some of you are in it. 252. Excellent point. Hey, hey. Sorry. 252. Well, I don't think they changed their official beat down. I think it's still 252. You're absolutely right. 252. And for those of you who aren't familiar, the idea is to go to every town slash city in their lots of wars or not for any. There's always one thing that you can do to do with gold. And you just you get all of them, get all the there's a little party over there. And what my family and I have done, we've done these towns, we've done, we've done about 130, and sort of said, what makes this place special? What made it special? When was it built? What does it mean to be And it's, it's this fascinating walk through history and say, you know, 1860, this building meant something to somebody, and it still means something, but something different. And you can see the civic pride in the communities around the world. And what I personally hope we all get out of this is something that we will actually see that a hundred years from now, people will come to what we have helped shape. And they will do that my family and I will be older than this. And they will say, what an amazing thing has it did is about the heart of Essex. This is tied to the town center. This is tied to everything that they feel. As a discussion, we can't imagine Essex without this. And so again, we are in all of this. And to talk about the particular thing that we have so, we right there now. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you very much, Josh, for the introduction. My name is Snow Shaping. I'm a senior associate with Stantec, and we are the consulting team that is uh, working with the town of Essex to develop a master plan for the ADM at the Upper Mansion site. Um, I want to thank you all very much for inviting us here and for spending a little bit of your time tonight to talk about a little bit more, more about this planning process that we're starting, and most importantly, to share your ideas with the other people at the tables and with our team so that it helps us learn as much as we can, as quickly as we can. Uh, before we get started, I just want to introduce a couple other of our team members who are here and will be floating around as we get to the small group discussion portion of the meeting tonight. Uh, we have Maggie Connor, our principal in charge, Chris Gendron, our uh, project manager, and then Madison up here at the front, who is taking notes uh, as part of this process. Uh, so what we're going to do tonight, uh, this presentation hopefully is only about 20 or so minutes, because really the most important part of this is hearing from you uh, and small group discussions around the table. Before we get to that, we want to kind of set the context a little bit. So we'll talk uh, what our goals are for tonight, what is kind of the, the history, how did we get to this point, why are we all in this room in the first place, um, what our process is going to look like over the next several months, and where we're hoping to end up, uh, and then we'll introduce the other small group discussions. At the end of the night, then, we're going to have uh, we're going to ask a representative from each of the table uh, to stand up in just a minute or two, give us the, the top highlight, the key takeaway, the thing that everybody at the table is you know, most supportive or excited about, uh, so that everybody has a chance to kind of hear what other tables we're talking about. So, tonight's meeting uh, is the first in a series of several public meetings over the course of the next couple of months that we'll be hosting in order to hear from you tonight, 
share what we heard and kind of how we're, we're responding to that and uh, executing. And then for you to tell us again, did we get it right? Did we miss something? How can we kind of improve things? So that this is sort of a collaborative, iterative process. So, importantly, this is the first meeting in this process. It's really kicking things off tonight. What we want to do is to share some information with you about what we'll be working on, um, what has led the town to this point with this particular site. As I said, we really want to hear from you, and then we hope that by being here tonight and being part of this process, that we'll stay involved over the next several months, and then we'll tell your neighbors and your friends about this so that they come to our next meeting, uh, and so they also will check out the project website, which starting tomorrow we'll have survey of the same questions that anybody. So for anybody who couldn't be here tonight, we still want to hear from them and that survey will be way to do that. So um, that's really what we're hoping to do. So to start off with a little bit of just background on this thing. What we are talking about is specifically uh, 80 and 90 Upper Main Street. This is 32 acres outlined in white here, so it has a uh, bit of frontage along Route 15 here. Uh, to kind of orient people, this is Route 15 Upper Main Street, kind of at the bottom, Old State Road coming up on the right side there. And so this is Jules on the Green right here, the McDonald's just off the screen right there. This is a gas station and market right there. Um, so hopefully it gives everybody a sense if you're not familiar with, with what we're talking about. But that 32 acres uh, was purchased by the town last fall. And that was after a process, a series of meetings that the select board held uh, to help achieve one of their work plan goals, which was to try to find a new home for the town office, as well as some other place school facilities, specifically the library and the fire station. So by getting control of this site, this is now the location to kind of build a new uh, extension to the town center, a new civic center for the community. And as those discussions were taking place, as the town was kind of doing their due diligence to understand you know, what could be fit here, how are these different uses, it became clear that there is enough space on the site to do something beyond just those couple of municipal buildings. And so, that's going to be a, a big focus of our conversation tonight. What else would you like to see here? What different types of uses or public amenities and things like that? Um, we want to hear from you a little bit in terms of like, what do you think the character of this should be so that fits into Essex and is a, a representation of who the town is, what their identity is. Uh, so that's going to be a, a big focus of our uh, small group discussions. So this site is also very strategic because it, it's reflected in several really important town documents. The town plan was just adopted in the spring, and the ETC Next Master Plan from 2021, which itself was an update of a prior document. Uh, both of those are talking about not specifically just the site, but that area of the Essex experience and some of the other hotel and the office buildings over there as a vibrant town center for Essex. And so this site is an opportunity to kind of establish a new civic identity for the town. And as I said, then the balance of that site that's not being used can help achieve other town goals. It can help provide housing. It can help provide recreation and trail space. It could provide, it could demonstrate sustainability and resilience of how the buildings and sites are constructed, how stormwater is treated on the site. So again, so some of the things we want to hear from you. Like what is most important for you as a, as a community, the people that are here, the people that we hope to continue to hear from throughout this process to see represented in this site. To kind of quickly recap how those plans talk about this site, the town plan that was adopted this spring has several goals, and these are just a couple here, that do specifically talk about the site and some of the, the goals town-wide for Essex. One of those is that the town center is a focus for concentrating growth in community life. And so, this site fits in that perfectly. It's a space for the town to grow, to be a new gathering place, a new place to take visitors, a place to go for recreation or to live in. Uh, but some of the other goals that the town plan includes are about a uh, future of innovation and sustainable growth. 
uh, transition to a multimodal focus, which is really about like, walking, biking, transits, how can that, uh, this site incorporate those elements? Housing that meets the needs of all residents and the site is going to not be huge site, especially with those town uh, uses there. But it can help make some progress towards that. Uh, and then the quality level of municipal services and facilities. And so that, that's where the municipal component comes into this. We know that the town office is currently not at the town of business. We know that the libraries that they love community institution, but it's in a very small physical space, which limits what we offer to residents. So this site provides an opportunity to kind of rethink what the next version of those are for the future. There are also some specific actions, and again, there are a lot in the plan, so just a couple, but one of the actions of the town plan is to implement the 2021 NTC Next Master Plan, and this site is a key piece of that. Uh, relocating the town offices and committing to and following the other action items for the town center and the NTC Next Master Plan. So the town plan and that NTC Next Master Plan are very closely related and all kind of go hand in hand. Specifically in that plan, this site that we're looking at and talking about tonight is part of what's called their Use uh, Use North neighborhood. And the complement across the street with the SS experiences is called the Use Use South Master Plan in that document. And for this, the North neighborhood, the ETC Next Master Plan talks about it being a place for diverse housing types, mixed residential and commercial buildings. Uh, that maybe are two to four stories that are connected to the adjacent areas and neighborhoods. Uh, the idea of the green belt that's currently on the south side of the community, that continues on the north side. Uh, and also the, the sense that this is kind of a gateway for the time for coming off uh, Route 15, or, uh, 289. So some opportunities there. And those aren't the only two plans. There's also the Route 15 second study that's specifically focused on in order or the back of it like in the future. Um, and the town itself did uh, a variety of studies prior to purchasing the site the site to look at the environmental features, to look at the traffic and transportation patterns, as well as some preliminary concepts to kind of explore what else could fit on the site besides those kind of uses. So that's kind of a quick background of how we got here. So our process that we're starting on right now is about a six month long process to go through the end of the year and we hope to, to be wrapping this up. And it's three main phases. This initial phase that we're in right now is the discovery phase, learning as much as we can about the site and hearing you about your ideas. Our next phase then is going to be to test some different alternatives and come back to the community with several different master plan alternatives for how different uses can fit on the site. And then we want to hear from you. What do you like about option A versus option B versus option C? So that hopefully we can start to work towards and develop a preferred plan for the site, which is that final phase of the final report, where we are hoping to get to a conceptual master plan for the entire site, looking a little bit more closely at the town buildings, the town office, the library, and the fire station, and what those could potentially look like. And then an implementation strategy. How does the town, what are the next steps in the town after our work is done? And that's a really important part of this so that the work that we're doing tonight, the work that we're doing over the next few months, leads to progress and distraction. So it's really important to note that tonight's meeting is just the first of several public meetings in different ways that we want to reach out and hear from people. Uh, there will be two other public meetings, kind of similar setup and approach to, uh, to hearing from folks. Uh, the next will be in a couple of months, probably late September, early October, which will be that alternatives workshop where we come based on what we hear tonight and the survey with a few ideas of what the site can look like, what sorts of things can be there in addition to those municipal uses, and then say, what do we get right, what do we still need to work on, how do we start to move towards a single vision for the site. And then towards the end of the year, probably early December, would be a preferred plan and open house to say, here's what we think we landed on, let's check in one more time and make sure that we're all generally on the same page here. Um, there will also be some opportunities where we bring information about this planning process to local events here. So we are be handing out 
flyers and information encouraging people to go to the website so we can make sure people know this is going on and invite them to share their ideas. Uh, on the town website right now, there is a project page about this. You go to essexbt.org slash upper main. That will take you to the, the project page for this website. After tonight's meeting, as I said, there will be an online survey that will be asking the same questions that we've been talking about. So friends, neighbors, people who weren't able to be here tonight, uh, tell them to go to the website tomorrow afternoon over the weekend uh, and take a look at the survey this presentation will be up there as well uh, so they can learn more and share their ideas with us. So as I said, by the end of this year, what are we trying to produce? Where do we hope to be? And it's kind of three main things. It's a general plan for the site, a layout of how the town office and the library and the fire station relate to some of the other uses on the site, how those might lay out. It's a little bit closer look at those town buildings, the town office, the library, and the fire station, and the conceptual building design that is still going to need a lot of work before it can be built, but it gives the town kind of a head start. Uh, and then importantly, that implementation strategy. So in terms of things like zoning for the site, or regulatory for the site, are there any changes that need to happen? Um, phasing, like how do we think about the cost of building this versus the payoff in terms of uh, any private development that could happen here? Uh, what are the infrastructure needs to make these things happen? That's all part of our study that we'll provide to the town to provide that roadmap uh, to move forward. So very quickly, uh, as we start to wrap this up and get into the, the discussion group, a, a couple of notes to keep in mind about the site. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's about 32 acres overall. It's kind of this L-shaped site with a really long leg that goes uh, back in this direction. Um, the green circles on this map and the kind of bluish areas on the table map, uh, those are wet areas, which are natural resources that are not really areas that we build on lots of them. They provide an environmental function in terms of stormwater and natural habitat and things like that. So those are areas where they're probably not going to be built at all. So what that means is that as we think about what could be here on the site in the future, it's probably going to be in this upfront section that's mostly along Route 15 and then starts to turn the corner onto Old State Road. So kind of when I think of the back half of, of the site, probably mostly open space. There's a couple of different ways to treat that, and even entirely alone, access trails, and education component. You know, you can just to hear what other ideas you may have for that. That front half of the site, which is you know 15 to 20 acres to take, uh, is really where the new buildings and other uses could potentially could most likely go. Um, as I said, kind of the beginning is that there's going to be a new town office, a library, and a fire station here that's an important part of the site. And then we want to hear from you what are some of those other uses? Is it housing and if so a specific type of housing? Is it retail? We know that there's a lot of retail across the street. We certainly don't want to compete with that, so this is probably not another retail center, but maybe there's a little bit that's part of this thing. Um, what about the public gathering spaces? Is that something that we want to see here? So we're, you know, we want to hear from you before we start drawing and putting ideas down on the paper. Uh, so that's kind of a, a quick summary of kind of what we're doing, why we're here, hopefully gives you a little bit better sense of what we're going to be doing now with this small group discussion part of this. Uh, we'll take the next 45 minutes or so and we'll kind of listen in as the discussions are going and it seems like people are wrapping up a little early. We will do that. We don't want to hold people any longer than we need to because we know it's you know, kind of a late night. Um, and what we're going to do for every, all these cities have a map here, which is kind of meant to be a guide. And then uh, this handout that is on each of the tables has a little bit more information to kind of the discussion about. Um, so what we would like to do is to spend about 15, 20 minutes on each of those three different color boxes on the map, discussing as a table everyone's ideas and thoughts about the site. 
the green box there has a couple of questions about title of the desired character. If you look at the discussion guide, it has other suggestions and questions to um, get the, the juices flowing. But basically, you know, what would you like to see here in the future? What would success look like here? What would you like kind of like, in the future of knowledge that said and done here? That is talking about what this site has done. That would be very helpful for us in terms of thinking about types of uses and layout and how this fits into the essence. The blue box then is to kind of think even a little bit bigger picture. What are your kind of goals that you would like to see achieved here? That outcomes you would like to see here? Do you think it's really important that this site provides a specific type of housing that maybe is here today? or a specific uh, community gathering space that's not here today? Or should this be an example of cutting edge sustainability, energy conservation, and resource conservation? You know, what, what things would you like to see here that would make you say, hey, we, we got this right, this is something that I'm proud of this um, And then finally, the, the last box is about challenges or concerns. We know that you may have questions, you may think that there are challenges to developing this site or have concerns. We want to hear about those too, because that's an important part of this process, especially as we get started, uh, to hear what kind of things we need to be figuring out how to mitigate or make better or if there's something we think is a starter here. But we to know that now too. Um, so, write that down. So, as a group, we kind of discuss, um, discuss these questions. Write down on those maps with the things that sort of have general agreement around the table. If you have other you know, questions or things, you can write on the back of this, you can write on the map, and I encourage you to please write all over these maps. So uh, I don't want to see that. Uh, uh, we're going to collect all of these at the end of the night tonight, and that'll be kind of a record of what uh, is discussed in this moment. As I mentioned at the end of this, we'll walk around with a microphone and representative from each group will have a minute or two really just to share kind of the big takeaway thing, the thought that the group had that everybody was pretty excited about so that we had a chance to hear what uh, the different tables were discussing. And then quickly, I just want to kind of cover the next steps here before we get to this small discussion. Uh, as I said, we're going to collect all of the written materials, the table maps, any of the handouts that we've written on, and collect all of that, um, review it, we'll post those on the website so you can see what other groups wrote. Um, and that's going to be important feedback as we get started kind of doing the design thinking about the site. We'll develop those uh, couple of site plan alternatives come back to you in the fall to get more feedback. And then again, the winter towards the, the preferred master plan. Uh, so that's going to be kind of our process. So uh, we want to hopefully see you again in the fall and later on this year. Uh, and then again, just a reminder, this is the website here. So for yourself, friends, neighbors, anybody else, encourage them to go here. It's on the town website. So Remember that and don't write it down. It's pretty easy to find those pictures on the website. Uh, so that's really it. We'll turn it over to the small group discussions. Uh, I can take a couple of questions and we'll also be able to pull up the four, three or four of us before we go around to. Um, so there's one right there. Um, just at one point, it was sort of like brainstorm little ideas and then it there's this one So let's start with getting all ideas down on the either the map itself or use the back of the discussion guide to write things down. Uh, but then we would like groups to try to, to reach some consensus on, on something. And that's that's part of kind of the, the your challenge tonight. Um, you know, everybody comes to this with different types of ideas, you know that that's fine. But we think there are hopefully some common Themes that can be reached at each of the tables. So try to try to work with that in mind and see what we can get to. Uh, the survey that's online too. I mean, everybody here is welcome to take that survey too. That's another opportunity to provide individual feedback as well. Uh, so that's a, a very good question. Yes. Um, a lot of people here are involved in different things. 
section said three things that I think the chat will understand it on the beginning. Municipal office, library, fire department. Mm -hmm. I think most citizens might be seen because of the separation and the fact that their municipal office is in the municipality. Yeah, this is a good question. Is this great for a municipal office? Others might not understand why you can make the library or the fire department when they already have facilities. Mm -hmm. now, maybe that's a policy decision on the select board. But do you want us to look at all three of those types of structures as part of this? That is our assumption that it started here. We know uh, we've already been talking a little bit with uh, the library, and they did a kind of a user survey um, with people who use the library. And a lot of the things that people would like the library to offer, there is not physical space for it, whether that's additional programming, more books, uh, you know, space for meetings. It's a, a beautiful building. We looked at this morning, in fact, but it's small. There's really not a lot of opportunity. So that's the thinking for a library here that provides organization services. Um, and the fire station, too, it's a matter of thinking about the future, the needs of the town, the firefighting and technology that's needed for that. Um, so we'll work with that as an assumption if during the course of this process you know, there's a need to kind of check that in on that and sort of can. But for tonight, we'll work with that as an assumption. Um, and if you have thoughts about that, again, the survey or you know, um, one more, and then I want to get to the small group discussions, and you can go around and answer questions too. How is Parks and Rec involved in this? Is it part of the town hall? It certainly could be. So, one of the things that our team is doing is we're looking at this with this emergency as kind of a space needs and programming exercise to figure out what are the town departments that should be there that make the most sense. So um, we met with uh, somebody from Parks and Rec earlier today as part of kind of talking with town staff. Uh, and so yeah, what is the, the role for recreation or other town departments as part of that? So all very good questions. With that, I do want to turn us over to the small group discussion. So Maggie, Chris, myself, uh, and Madison will be floating around. We can answer any other questions. Um, otherwise, we'll be kind of like listening in, and we'll kind of provide some time checking this out. Where is that hurt? The question is about hurt cuts, so like access to the site. Um, there have been already discussions with the trains about two intersections to the site. One, the existing uh, Billy Butler Way, including that actually a four-way street intersection, and then roughly in the middle of the site on Route 15. So potentially two access points. All right, thank you. All right. It is great to hear everybody continuing to talk, but I do want to make sure we have a chance to hear from the tables. Definitely be here for that. So. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, we do hear that. <laughs> so we're going to start with this table over here. Um, we are being recorded for people who uh, are not able to join us tonight, so if you can kind of look towards the camera there as you uh, talk, that would be great. So we'll start with this table, uh, one minute each, kind of the, the very quickly, like what was the key takeaway from your table, uh, what you would most like other people who need to hear, uh, to also hear. We don't need to go through everything. I see a lot of writing and all of the, the maps. That's fantastic. So, top like one or two things for each table. We'll start here. So, for desired character, we felt uh, that what type of place would we'd like this to become? We felt that having a place for the community to be centered, for a welcoming place that the town. Hall would be a center, center place that community can be gathered for um, intimate small meetings or to have other types of places that we can gather like a place like this. And just to have something that the town hall wants to town members can utilize to have all kinds of meetings. Um, we, what would we like to do? 
here in the future, and we feel that we want to be obviously smart about our development uh, to allow the space to grow. That we don't need to put a building or a parking lot touching every little spot right off in, in the very beginning of the development. It could grow over time and uh, be the, the, the different needs. We want to create a legacy for our future generations that are going to be coming, something that they could be proud of. They could be also part of it. Well, now it's, this is a future thought. Now, now, it's, a, now it's our turn to be at our uh, part of it. Uh, three goals or outcomes, the goal uh, I'm most wanting to see in the project to complete. One was definitely sustainability and, with it, and efficiency with buildings. Uh, today's technology of, of buildings will allow um, net zero uh, carbon use and energy uh, usage. Um, same goal is about centering and creating data for our community um, from, and promote that sense of community and be efficient with the use of the property with safe access to and from. We recognize that 15 is very busy corridors and times of the day you don't want to create a hazard by creating a centered community space and then create a hazard that we have to mitigate uh, and work turnover for the state. Uh, challenges and concerns. Um, some of our concerns about the future is what we just talked about, traffic, um, to and from and in there. Uh, we talk about the fire department. Uh, right now we're all volunteers, so Nobody's at our station We're on Sand Hill Road. Um, we do have people that are here today. So if we kept that same model going forward and had a new fire department there, a stage to our apparatus would potentially create a hazard and then taking the apparatus out of that space. So how that gets worked to the whole scenario. Um, how, how does this get financed by the, by the town of Essex? That's, that's going to be a huge item. Uh, for us, uh, possibly, you know, we have wetlands that we need, we have stormwater needs. State of the water to save them up requires us to handle that. But could we do something with that? that utilize that space uh, in the back, in the back corners of those. Uh, and what does the state of want their require us to do for? as well as the buildings that their state of the law regulations are going to restrict us in the town to do what we really want to do. So. Great. Excellent. Thank you very much. <laughs> Go right there. Next. I think we just narrowed it down to right here talking about our sort of our top goals and we would say to have a community recreation center, a place where folks could interact with each other, um, winter and summer, uh, attractive buildings and natural sites that look like really planned the things that look <laughs> um, natural features, parking less obvious. And, and activities for all ages that can have the space that serves a broad demographic of people, a broad range of people. And then concerns um, traffic, parking, walking from one side of the 15 to the other. Um, and, yeah, and certainly taking into consideration accessibility. Excellent, thank you. In terms of uh, desired character, we want to look like a hot town. We, we don't want a lot of, you know, flat roof, food of our buildings. Uh, we left that yeah, bottom behind the building. Uh, then we thought that we should not have any houses in um, And it, it should be recreational areas like a bike path or uh, a side of the road there. Maybe a door park or a farmer's market or an 
six long community donors. Okay. If we go looking for kind of a pastoral look, where the coffee is and others, okay, wrong. Um, <laughs> um, I think it'd be too long. Um, goals, a lot of green space, low tax impact, and small intact buildings, not skyscrapers. Um, the challenges, uh, access to the site where the, you know, curb cuts for the people are, or all 15, or what stage, where are they going to be? Uh, and it's got to be affordable to maintain. Um, again, not, not much to make. And that the parking is not visible, and noise and cars are concerned. All right. Thank you very much. We will be the witness to sit there. We can focus on some of the challenges that we saw first, and that being the weapons, um, how that's going to be, how that would be utilized. Um, so that's probably one of our the list of um, the challenges and concerns. Um, the it, it, the cost of the buildings, um, tax impact, and uh, gone and go. And then this, um, we have a representative of Chip Center at the table, and six chips. And so she was educating us a little bit more on the program. And so um, definitely trying to, to possibly make some room for the chips program. Um, future food pantry, civic area, senior center, town offices, I think she did all the mention. And what would we like to do here in the future? Um, is to, to be welcome and have opportunities and access uh, for um, all the, 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 the different interests, um, making the outside space available to everyone, accessible um, benches, uh, seniors as we age, moms with little kids, you know, just making it more um, accommodating. What type of place would you like to see? As far as character, traditional architecture, uh, talking with a leader, uh, a new space, a garden, maybe a new shape driveway. And the fire station needs to be separate from the town and parks and ground and the library. So the fire station needs to be its own interest. Because some of our concerns were, you have houses on one side of the, of the, uh, the, the lot, you know, the fire station up against the housing. Um, So where would the fire station access was a bit concerned. Walkability, love to see a path, maybe a bike path that goes through the wetland, down the snowmobile trail, underneath the surf highway, into the center hall property, right behind the snowmobile trail. That would be wonderful. Uh, sustainability is a big one. Uh, solar panels, coming up with driveways, natural areas. Um, we've got to start thinking about self driving cars. Uh, 20 years from now, I would have all my cars and picking up and going to go into a plant machine and put them all around. You know, how did that look nice? And how to it function? But definitely, town hall, front and center, a, a, a senior center, and maybe a library for the kind of adult. Pushing the children's pushing the library, and it would be great if 
picture is that we can appropriately exercise and write, so we can use the same outdoor spaces, the same indoor spaces, and um, we need a medium space. Yeah. Uh, uh, this whole way of writing in mind, that military has one of the coolest public community spaces that we have there. So, we might want to look at how military we have to spend it there, how absolutely it does, because instead of trying to be for our weapons, those are safe security, white caps, macro papers. We can do a lot with our weapons and not just our other weapons. Are you thinking? I think that's a pretty good summary. Great. Start. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Last but not least. Including 
everyone that's in this town with any kinds of needs. Um, sustainability, uh, creating things that uh, are going to be sustainable, and then um, cost you <laughs> And then the final challenges and concerns would be uh, traffic safety, the cost, finding out what wetland restrictions there might be by the state. We might not be able to do a lot of things we want to do with the weapons. Uh, and, oh, and noise would be concerned. I bet I didn't really understand the fire. Oh, fire and everything. But anyway, just to get a place where you. I miss, I really, really miss Sweet Flow because that was my social. <laughs> and so to make a place where you go for a lot, I'm going to run into somebody that you maybe know or at least kind of recognize, just start with a conversation. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So that was our main thing. Has anybody else come up after? A casino. Oh, a casino. <laughs> <laughs> The bright girl wild party in there at the end. <laughs> so that, that I think is a really nice way to kind of end this because we heard several tables talk about community welcoming a place to meet people, whether it's outside or at the library or on the walking trail. So and it was interesting to hear that at several tables. As I said, we're gonna be looking through all of the screen comments to make sure you've got your uh, things written down, leave them on the table so you have them. Tell your friends about this website, that's where the survey will be up starting tomorrow, very quickly, last time. And we wanted to include teenagers, and so we've got skate park in there too. All right. Right. Park. So skate, West. skate yeah. park and bike park. So again, inclusive something for everyone. So that, that's great. Uh, thank you very much for your time and being here tonight and for sharing your ideas with us. We really appreciate it. Uh, there will be additional information about these videos. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great night, a great weekend, and we'll hopefully see you again soon.